Hello Tarkov enjoyers, I'm currently sitting at around 94 million rubles, 50k USD with a 170 mil stash value, and my hideout is also nearly maxed out. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the best ways to make rubles in Escape from Tarkov version 0.15, so you can run any kit you want without having gear fear. There are various ways to make rubles in Tarkov. For this video, I'll be focusing on the best flea market flips I've found. This is the first full wipe in a long time where items do not need to be found in raid to be sold, so if you know what you're doing, you should never really run out of rubles. Alright, so I'll start by showing you guys some of the trader flips I use. I do have my traders maxed out, so use them according to whatever levels you guys might have. But I'm going to show you from a max trader level. First thing I always get is two labs access cards. You can get them for about 166 and sell them for anywhere from 180 to 190 each. And that's a quick 30 to 40k turnaround. I usually sell things for about 20% lower than uh, the lowest offer so that I can flip quickly. I'm not interested in making the max profit per item. I just want to flip things very quickly every reset. Next thing I get is the money case. It's five gold chains, two Rolexes, and two gold skulls. It's going to come out to around 250 plus 120 plus another 120 so 370 maybe 510 around 500k to get the barter and then it's gonna sell for around six to seven hundred depending on the market so I'm gonna sell it for 640 here and I'm gonna make a quick 100k profit so the next item I recommend taking a look at is the pistol case Usually they sell for around 200 to 240. Right now the price is inflated. I'm not sure why, but and I also usually have meds because I'm crafting them in the hideout to use this barter. Right now I don't have any, so I'll just buy the meds and do the flip. I won't make much profit on this one, but again, normally I use the hideout to craft meds. I'll have six meds on hand, and then I'll just buy f uh, four syringes. Next up, we're going to take a look at Jaeger. I always get the T12 Optic. You can trade it for one Pevco beer, which is around 15 to 20K. And I quickly turn this around for about 40K. And it's a quick 20K profit. Next up is the Reap IR uh, Optic Mount. This is a barter for 4D batteries. Sometimes the price of these can go up. If you buy further off the reset timer, then the prices for these will be lower. So right now they're around 8 to 12K. Sometimes I see them for 5 to 8K. But let's say you buy four of these at an average of 10K each even. That's like... Uh, 160k for four of these and they usually sell for around 60k each so let's say you put in 160 you can sell them for around 240 in total and make a quick 50 to 80k profit turnaround next up is the dog tag case this is one vhs and one mfd military flash drive you can buy these items for about 170 on the market and turn it around for about 200 to 210 so it's usually a quick 20 to 40k turnaround next up is the mr holodilnik freezer bag this is a trade for 10 hot rod energy drinks five coca colas five cans of herring and five cans of squash this usually ends up costing anywhere from five to 600k depending on the market at the time and you can usually sell it for around 650 to 700 depending on the market again. So Jaeger also has the Red Rebel Barter. Right now, so currently it doesn't make a lot of profit, but it does sell for a lot, so it helps your flea rep go up quite a bit because it sells for around 3 million. Right now, the cost to barter for it is anywhere from 2.5 to 3 million usually. 
and then the fee for posting it is around 150k so so it ends up being a small profit currently but the bigger thing for me is the flea rep you can see i have 160 flea rep and i can post eight items on the market so that's a big plus for me another barter i use from jaeger is for the weapon case this is five pistol cases and five blue fuel tanks so for my generator, I fill it with the blue fuel tanks. When they run out, I'll use those empty fuel tanks and turn it into this barter. You can buy the K you can buy five pistol cases or craft them for even less than a mil and then turn around the case for about 1.8 to 2 mil. All right, so now we're moving on to my flip list. First up is the 357 Magnum FMJ rounds. They sell for 150 a round and they usually sell for about 250 to 300. Like I said earlier, I'm not looking to make the most profit out of every item. I sell things for quite a bit lower than the lowest offer usually and just try to get the flips immediately. So I will post these for around 250 and we'll get a quick turnaround on that. Flechette rounds and 50 BMGs also usually sell for a profit. Right now the profit's not large enough for me, so I'll just skip these. Um, but I keep everything on my list and keep an eye on the market. Depending on what the going prices are, I'll pick and choose what I wanna buy. The 30 round M4 mags, the 5.56 mags, these always sell very quickly. So I'll turn them around for around $24. They sell for 18 and it's a quick way to make sure that you don't run out of USD. So we'll continue down my list here. Um, BCP FMJ, a lot of times sell for a profit right now. It's not worth it. I only have eight slots, so I'm gonna prioritize the items that will give me the most profit for now. So PBM rounds, a lot of people use these in the Ketters. These will sell pretty quickly usually, and you get to buy 420 every reset. AP63 rounds, these always sell for a good profit as well. So I'll post these immediately. The lowest price is 277 doesn't look like it's selling so i'm really gonna post it at a lower price of 199 and make sure i get a quick turnaround on this for the ap rounds i'm gonna sell around 420 again i want to make sure that i'm getting quick turnarounds rather than maximizing the profit on every item because i just go through a, a huge list of items and try to flip them as quickly as possible the Tango Down BG Grips, these usually sell for a decent profit. Right now there's a lot on the market, I'm not gonna buy these. B33 Dust Cover, I think this is a gunsmith item. Again, this is a decent profit and you get to buy three every reset. I'm not gonna buy it this round. AK-12 30 rounders, these sell pretty quickly. AK-12 is a pretty popular gun. I'm gonna go ahead and buy these and quickly turn around uh, those 12. The CAC 20 round mags, very good for quick turnarounds. Again, you'll see a common theme here. Mags are really good for quick turnarounds. People buy these, uh, you know, they'll just put it in the gun builder and buy whatever is cheapest on the market. So that's why I always list it a good amount lower than the lowest value. The ASVAL Rotor 43 Pistol Grip and Buffer Tube. This is also a very popular item and a gunsmith item. So right now, milks are around 25K. The item is actually going around 40. So that'll be a quick 45K profit. But with the vendor fee, I don't know, maybe it'll be like 30 to 40 profit. Ammo cases, you can buy for 160, sell for around 190 to 200. Again, that's a quick 30K, 30, 30, 40K profit. These always sell very quickly. I'm gonna post these buffer tubes, turn those around, post the mags, make sure these turn around quickly. So I'll sell more 40. The CAC 20 rounders, you can see the lowest dollar offer is 95. I'm gonna post it way lower than that because I just wanna, again, turn them around as fast as I can. I'm going to sell them for 42 That's still double the price of what I got them at. Continuing down the list, we're going to get the hemostats. 
these are around 14k each and usually sell for around 20k each everyone uses these these sell like hotcakes deagle mags are a really good money maker you can buy a lot of them every reset and make a decent amount on all the mags they'll sell really quickly 5.7 threaded barrel also a very popular item 5.7 is one of the best pistols in the game so it's a good sniper support weapon the FNP90 rail, that's a gunsmith item. Again, more 20 rounders for the SCAR this time. Get those. Glock 45, 30 rounders. Uh, this is good for the vectors. Uh, the G36, 30 mags. These don't sell as well as they did early wipes, so I'm not gonna buy these. I will get the G28, 20 rounders though. These sell very well. The WMX200, this is a popular flashlight, but it looks like people have jumped on this item, so I'm not going to buy this one. The 5.56 five, uh, CAC uh, muzzle is good, but I'm not going to buy it this round. The Vector modular rail is also a gunsmith item. You can buy six of them for 2000 They sell for like 10k each, so that's a good turnaround, uh, but I'm not going to buy it this round. This one I do buy every reset is the Ultimac M8 you can get it for nine circuit boards and let's say you spend around 100k 110 to get the circuit boards and the rail itself sells for about 70k so you can make a quick 70 to 100k profit on these i always make sure i buy these so i'll go ahead and um, post these Again, I'm posting it quite a bit lower so I can just turn these around. Next up is the M870 handguard. This is a gunsmith item that always sells. Make sure I get some of those. The MOE butt pad, these are really popular. This was one I was buying early on, but they don't sell as quickly, so I stopped buying these. The Night Force 34 millimeter mount. Next up is the FAL 30 rounders. These will always sell. Popular gun. These are side plates, level 5. You buy them for 75. I turn them around for 100. Quick turnaround. Shattered mask. You can buy, what, 6 of these? Or is it 8? Every reset. And that's a quick turnaround. Those always sell very quickly. The Tromix Monster Claw. Again, 9K. Sell for close to 20K. The Uzi Pro 32 rounders have been very popular, but it looks like more people are jumping on that. The Ux Pro beanie is really good. You can buy them for 2000 and turn them into fleeces in the hideout and make a good profit on that. So my stash is full right now, so I'm going to go ahead and post some of these items. Shattered Mask I bought for 8k each, and I'm going to post them for just 10k because I just want them to sell. A lot of items, I even if I don't make a ton of profit, again, I just turn them around so that I can also push my flea rep up. You can see that I'm at 160, and I can post 8 items right now, so that's really big for me. Let me get some space in the stash. And can I post anything? Let's see. Oh, we'll do a quick collect. And you can see that I'm already back up to 94.3. And I still have a ton of items left to sell. So you can see how quickly you can make profit um, every reset. So if you stay diligent on the resets, then you should never really run out of rubles, even if you're not getting out of raids. Um, if you're surviving, then you're going to make even more profit. Um, I do also have loot runs that I can show to you guys, but for now, I'm going to be focusing on the flips. So here are the level 5 side plates. I sell those for 100, buy them at 75. And I always make sure that I have a steady supply of USD and rubles. But um, yeah, I think that's the majority of the flips that I use on the market to keep making rubles. Um, so yeah, that's the majority of the flips that I'm using to keep making rubles on the market. If you have any good flips, 
Uh, feel free to post them in the comments. If I'm missing any, let me know. I hope this guide was helpful for you to keep making rubles and help get rid of that gear fear. If it was, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.